Hello everyone, my name is Ananya Rajput, a legal intern at Lexus & Company. So today in this video, I am going to talk about property law. Now laws relating to maintenance of women differ from religion to religion. The amount of maintenance decided by the court depends measure, measurely on the monthly income of the husband, his financial status, the income or the lack of income of the wife and other important facts. The amount of maintenance is either decided by a mutual statement between the husband and wife or in accordance with the uh, order of the court. It is the women's right to get maintenance during and after a divorce in India. Now as per the maintenance laws in India, it is the duty of the husband to pay his wife a lump sum amount of uh, uh, or monthly payment known as maintenance. The maintenance is payable during the divorce proceeding or in the courts or after the divorce is finalized. First is your interim maintenance which is known as pendant light. Now the maintenance that a husband pays his wife during the proceedings of a divorce is known as the interim maintenance. Then is your permanent maintenance. Now the maintenance that uh, has a husband that, that a husband pay his wife after the divorce is finalized uh, is known as uh, the uh, permanent maintenance. Now we'll talk about maintenance rights under different religion in India. Now under Hindu law, under the provision of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955, the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956, divorced women have the right to claim maintenance. The maintenance amount is to be decided by the court based on the various factors including financial capability and the liabilities of the husband, financial ability of the wife, reason behind the separation, divorce and other factors and there are many more. Now the legal expenses related to the divorce proceeding for the maintenance will be borne by either of the spouses depending on their ability to bear the expenses. The husband is required to make and pay the maintenance amount till the divorce is unable, uh, divorced is unable to maintain her or till she doesn't remarry. Under Muslim law, the Muslim uh, Women Protection of Rights on Divorce Act 1986 provides for the maintenance of divorced women. Under this act, a divorced woman is entitled to the following, which is uh, uh, valid and fair provision of the maintenance by her ex-husband within the Iddat period. If she has children who were born before or after the divorce, then she can claim reasonable and fair maintenance from her ex-husband for a minimum period of two years from the birth of such children. An amount equivalent to meher or dower as uh, agreed to be a part or part of the agreed to be paid at the uh, time of her marriage or any time afterwards by the ex-husband all the properties which were given to her by her parents relatives friends or by her ex-husband his relatives or his friends in case the wife is unable to maintain her living expenses after if the period then as per the law the court will order her relatives who have inherited her property after her death to make provision for daily sustenance and expenses. Talking about Christian law, Indian Divorce Act 1869 provides for the provision of, for the maintenance for the divorced women who follows Christianity. Now according to this act, the maximum amount that will be paid to a wife cannot be more than uh, be one-fifth of the husband income. In order to decide the amount of the maintenance, the court will have to take into consideration various factors such as the husband's financial ability, wife's own assets and financial capacity and other factors. The maintenance amount will only be paid till the time the wife stays single and unmarried. Under Parsi law, uh, maintenance provision are similar to that under the Christian law but here our husband has also the right to claim maintenance. The court cannot offer maintenance beyond the life of the person paying the maintenance. The amount to be paid as the maintenance cannot be more than one-fifth of the spouse income. Under the Special Marriage Act 
1954, it allows divorced women to claim maintenance and support by having a right to get maintenance depending on the husband's ability to pay, his property, wife's own wealth, property and assets and any other just circumstance. Section 125 of CRPC makes necessary for a husband to maintain his wife who is unable to maintain herself without the assistance of the husband. A wife has the right to claim both interim maintenance as well as permanent maintenance under Section 125 of CRPC. Further, as per the explanation of B to Section 125.1, the term wife incorporates a divorced woman also. Thank you.